everybody, Scrap and Salvage here. Got an odd collection of vintage finds from a recent estate sale. Let's show you some of the things we found. Yesterday I went to an estate sale. I got there late. The good thing they hadn't opened the garage. I was there in time. It was kind of a later estate sale. Found some vintage junk, fun dig. See, so yeah, I got some paper goods here. This cool, the Peanuts Book of Pumpkin Carols. Great Pumpkin is coming to town. Anyway, it's kind of 70s. Fun little thing from the Peanuts gang. And also this ideal solution to the Rubik's Cube. Kind of cool. Teaches you how to how to do different uh, moves. Get them all in color synced. And last, the 1978 Star Wars calendar. May the force be with you all through the year. I don't know. I've never seen one of these things. They don't bring a lot of money, but um, just to... This is, you know... Rocky, dude. Rocky must have been... Com was it coming out right then? Is the guy looking forward to it? Is that his buddy? I don't know. There's a couple things. Easter. He spelled it Esther. No. Was it in March? Maybe that's his sister's birthday. I don't know. So anyway, it's kind of cool to, to find a Star Wars calendar. Pretty cool. A little bit rough, but still neat. Found this little scratch chalkware dog. Something that you would probably... Uh, win at a carnival back in the day probably the 40s 50s thought that was kind of neat got these little elves i don't know if you consider them for christmas but i did find it in a box of christmas stuff i think they're japan made i actually have a two two other one of these so i grabbed those this is a 1965 mattel i want to say patuti clown doll um, i think they made one with the smiling face and the unhappy face and some of them have hats and different things this is how i found this one but uh, it's, it's a pull, and obviously that doesn't work, but yeah, kind of just a fun little thing. Back here, not sure if this is a Pendleton blanket, but it sure looks like it to me. I haven't found any um, labels or anything, but it's wool blanket, and I don't know if this was an, the lady of the house who who passed. She was into making things, so this would be kind of up her alley to kind of um, customize this blanket, but nonetheless, pretty cool. I love the colors on it. Found that. It does have a few nicks and holes and whatnot, but good find these do bring some money found this uh you know i'm not up to date on my uh war helmets but i'm thinking it's a world war ii a helmet sleeve um lining it's the liner for the helmet so these are cool i've sold these before brought some money fun fine these were kind of the quirky fun like i said the lady was into crafts and sewing and stuff so she made these i'm assuming they're a hat but uh little uh, Sch Schlitz Stout and Miller High Life hat and this Coors, just thought that was kind of fun. I mean, like, what what, what what was the deal here? And another thing at this estate said there was a bag, like a, a banker's bag filled with just cutouts of different beers. Like, she was going the distance to make a lot of these. So I'm like, are these, are like, do you bring this to the football game and wear it or like the parade or something? But I don't know, what were they for? It's for a small head, but I don't know, just... Fun stuff like this, quirky. I'm attracted to it, and when it's reasonably priced, I buy it. Moving on back here, got a couple hats here. This is the USS Hollister um, DD788. Um, normally, I wouldn't buy these kind of hats, but it's an it's it's a Harvard, an older hat, um, vintage. Fortunately, my head is way too big, but just a cool, good old conditioned hat. Moving on to here, we've got this uh, another handmade denim. Floral hat, it's reversible, so you can make it all denim if you like to. It's probably how it was engineered to be, but I kind of like the, the cool floral pattern. So, eh, really cool. I wish I had the jeans to that. And this is a kind of a, uh, this is an old motorcycle, kind of the wild one hat, Harley hat. Missing the bill, though. I didn't realize that at first, and I just thought it was cool. But, um, yep, I don't know if it's an actual Harley hat. It could be like a kid's you know, cheapy version of the day, but eh, it's pretty rough. Thought that was cool though. Save that from the garbage. Down here, I've got some Honer, uh, different harmonicas. I like this Echo one. Kind of cool. This other one, what is this? Honer Marine, Marine Band. And then another Honer C, so... Huh, that's pretty cool. Grab those. A box rule by M and W Co. Haven't heard in this for M and W Co. So usually it's Stanley or Lufkin, but um, these are always cool. People do collect these, and some of them have some value. I've sold a couple of them for pretty good money. 
Um, but yeah, these I always pick these up when I find them. These were actually in this this toolbox over here is a fisherman's toolbox, but this one was kind of the fun one for me. It's this little switchblade, pretty rough, got some rust, but that's the first one I found of the little push button switchblades. Pretty cool, and then I believe this is an imperial, just a regular fish knife with a scaler and stuff, but pretty fun stuff. This is more just a multi-purpose kind of knife. I forget the brand on that, but uh, I found uh, this late the. The house that I did the state sale at had a bunch of like hoarded up boxes and stuff. So it was fun digging through them. And I found these couple of these watches, um, Waltham and a Gruer, I believe. Gruen, excuse me. Um, gold plated, silver plated, probably. They're not, I've, I've opened them up and looked for markings, but uh, just older watches, more deco style. Kind of fun. Right person. Got some value. Got this cool case. This was in this box too. It's got the. United States Navy, if only the glasses were in there. I'm sure some aviators were in there, but these are these are sweet. It's cool old box or sunglasses, glasses box. That was cool. Also found some little jewelry pieces in this hoarded up box. It was like full of papers and all this junk. And there is some gold. Found a couple pairs of 14 karat gold um, round earrings. Another pair. And then lastly, this little pendant, which has got 14 karat gold with a real pearl. And it's most likely a real little diamond in there, but not 100%. So always good to find gold because that brings some money. And I believe these are silver, sterling little silver rings, a couple of those, and a couple other like diamond uh, earrings. Not sure if they are real. Got a little bracelet, turquoise, little kind of Native American style. Kind of cool. I heart London shirt. Just something kind of fun. And then I uh, got a Pall Mall, little tin box, Pall Mall cigarettes, vintage. I don't know. thought it was kind of neat. Um, and then last but not least here, folks, I opened this up and I thought, I was like, oh, a bunch of old lures, wood lures. There's a market for good old wood lures. And um, I really got this for a great price. And uh, so is it Heden or Hedden? There's a bunch of Hedden lures in there. And a bunch of generic ones like this is super old man look at that thing all wooden lure just you know there's collectors out here that want this stuff and so just a bunch of cool ones um yeah as you can see so and then there's a bunch of reels in here They're nicely protected by a sleeve it's cool like bake light kind of handles um you know these aren't high dollar but uh still some of them are like nickel plated south bend perfectorino Model A. So I've got a few of those with Bakelite. A couple fly fishing reels. Another one with the cool handles. I just love the handles. I mean, the detail that the craftsmanship of stuff of the old was made. I mean, you, you can't go to any Walmart or anything like that and buy stuff like this today. You know, this is like craftsmanship. Beautiful, beautiful. This is the Shakespeare Criterion. 1960 it's probably not the date it was made just by the, the the number made in usa super quality why can't we do that anymore why do we have to ship stuff off to make it cheap and then we throw it away it's cool the sentinel handy bandages this is a fun little find so 10 and it actually has the bandages still in it oh, I, I just get a kick out of finding old little uh, things like this and i don't know why there's a champion spark plug in here but Old champion spark plug still in the box. Kind of cool. Some of these boxes just have fishing floats and miscellaneous stuff. Actually, this might have. Let's see. Yeah, just uh, some floats. I think that's a fly fishing rig. Kind of cool. This one too. Little bake light little thing right there. This whole thing, the housing. Weber Henschel. Four. I love to fish. I don't get out and do it anymore as much, but um, I don't know. This is just a cool box. It's probably the best box of wooden lures that I've ever found. So great find and uh, hopefully make some money back on these purchases. So this was the, the stuff we found yesterday. Thank you again for watching. Please continue to like and subscribe to us. We appreciate your views and we'll see you next time.